we take water for granted so often until we have a drought situation. Yeah, and we yes. really need rain. Natasha, of course, you've been tracking this closely and you have a <laughs> demo for us. We're going to do a little science experiment here just to kind of give you an idea of what we've been missing from our water year. So the water year starts October 1st and it goes until the end of September. So here we are, we're at the end of August and we have about another month to go before we total up the entire water year. What are we missing so far? We're missing 8.78 inches of rain. That's how much we're missing. So far, we've only accumulated 26.46 inches. That's a lot of rain to be missing. So see you later rain. And this is all we've had so far for the month of August. 0 0.05 inches, 507 inch, nothing to celebrate at all. So what does that mean for our water year as a whole? Where do we stand when you compare that to what's normal? This is a, a list of the top driest water years we've had in the past. Look at 2001. That was the most recent and the driest water year listed. We only picked up just under 23 inches of rain that year. So if we get not a single drop to measure, nothing else, we could go down as the fifth driest water year on record for Portland, knocking that number five spot out of its place from 1979. So we'll see how this goes. Tomorrow there is a chance to see a little bit of rain, but will it be enough to measure? I'll talk about that coming up. Thanks, Natasha. Coin six.